Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we're going to talk about what else? An update on the stimulus check. And you're getting an update, a deadline. The IRS has extended the deadline. We're going to talk about it. And welcome to Fossey Optics. Check. Stop struggling now. Gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. As you can see, we're on the Stop Struggling Now YouTube channel page, and I want to thank you for being here, and please like the videos once again, and please share the videos. These The videos can help other people who you may not even think needs help, so it's always good to give out information. And as you know, we have a join button here on the right-hand side, and I want to say one thing. We've had a whole bunch of subscribers over the last week to two weeks, so I want to thank new subscribers for being here. And we have a join button for members. This is a membership button where I only send messages under the community tab to channel members only. And some of those include investments. Some of those include videos. I do one or two videos a month. And this helps support the channel as well. So without further ado, what are we talking about here? The IRS has extended their deadline. This is an update for the stimulus check. We actually have a real update this time. But first, what are we going to talk about here? What does the number one guy up here called the president care about? Stock market, right? Yesterday's video, what did I tell you? He turns around and says no more negotiations. Stock market tanks. What do you think happens within 24 hours? Because 200,000 plus people dying, millions of people getting infected, we're going to care about the stock market that businesses are going to run. The top 500 companies are going to run with or without any of us. So I just want to say this is the CNN pre-market. You can see what's happening today, all green. And if you would have been a member of the channel yesterday, two days ago, I sent a message saying now is the time to buy stock when the president said no more negotiations and the stocks tanked by 600 points or so on the Dow. But anyhow, let's get down to the real deal. The IRS has extended the deadline for 9 million people to register to get a stimulus check. That's right. Some of you may not have received a stimulus check like me. And you can file, get an extension to file with the IRS and they have extended it as you can see right here until November 21st rather than October 15th because if you haven't filed then you would not receive any stimulus money or if you make over a certain amount of money you would not receive stimulus check so some people have not filed and as they have said in this article here nine million people have not filed and therefore now, as long as you file before November 21st, you will be in line to receive, well, I guess if it's going to be, it's probably going to be $1,200 stimulus money. That's fine. So here it is. There's a non-filer tool. I'll have a link down below in the description for you. It's at the irs.gov site, but I'll have this direct link for you down in the description in case you need to go file or get registered all right and as you can see here they have their list who is eligible for economic impact so again can't be claimed as a dependent have to have a valid social security number and then again like i mentioned had adjusted gross income under certain limits so if you make over a certain amount then you will not receive a stimulus check so anyhow i'll have a link for that now of course you know how we're doing this i can't let this stuff slide because, again, it's all about the top 10% of the wealthiest own 92% of the stock market. So what do you think's always on the forefront? All right? Now, and because of this, the wealth gap is growing. 
you know I got to keep you guys abreast of the situation and get get you to understand that this is why you have to create your extra streams of income because if you just work on earned income which is a W-2 and that's all you're making and then you're investing your money that's fine but the fact of the matter is you're leaving a whole bunch of money on the table and the wealth gap is getting larger and larger because the money that you're giving to the 401k the mutual funds even stocks themselves you're basically giving to the top 10 percent of the wealthiest people they're actually managing your money and they're using your money to make more money and using your money to get loans to buy more things such as neighborhoods homes in neighborhoods so this is all I'm saying there's repercussions for what is going on when there's a wealth gap and it's gonna continue and why do I say it's gonna continue because oh and by the way I'll have a link down below of course to this page so you guys can read about the wealth inequality if you don't think it's real it's real every day that they reduce the Fed Reserve rate and it gets to zero that's a thing every day that somebody walks out and says hey we're gonna promise stimulus money so stocks go up that's a thing the value of a company goes up which means they can borrow more money are you getting it yet that money that they're borrowing is thin air in reality and they get preferred rates they could have one percent two percent interest on this money because they have a inside deals with the Fed and loans and and Goldman Sachs and Bank of America and JP Morgan Fed banks all these guys are working together so you have to understand this is why one percenters don't lose all right meanwhile the rest of us are working our behinds off just trying to make ends meet right let's talk about this see Trump reverses course on coronavirus relief talks dangles new 1200 stimulus checks if I'm not mistaken May 13th of this year the Dems 3.3 trillion bill already said they wanted to give out 1200 stimulus checks so what's the big deal uh, their 2.2 trillion proposal or bill also said 1200 stimulus checks unemployment they've been talking about six hundred dollars until 2021 so what are we talking about here this is all smoke and mirrors because you knew good and well that there's no way that he was going to be no we're not negotiating and watch the stock market go down and then what happens it goes back up and of course now because he did the reverse what's going to happen the following day which is today this is common sense today now we're going to talk about oh well hold on a minute corporations they're going to need some money funny corporations need billions but yet you're holding up money for the individuals who lost their businesses who are sick people who are unemployed all due to the virus situation and yet here we are today because you hear this news Pelosi Nuchin signal openness to 25 billion bailout for US Airlines after Trump reverses course on stimulus US Airlines started cutting jobs just like a capitalist society when you're weak you don't manage your money properly why should you get a bailout I thought we're in a capitalist society you should have to deal with the consequences of you buying back your own shares of stock and not reinvesting in your company and reinvesting in your employees and making redevelopments. This is supposed to be capitalist society, the best, only survive. But in the last 20 years, it's been like one percenters don't lose. So here we go with another bailout like it's a normal thing. This is not normal, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to save the economy by printing more money just means your great great grandkids are going to owe by the, when they're born, they're going to have a price tag on their head. $35,000, $40,000, $50,000 is what they're going to owe to the government silently. Right now, every American owes silently while the rich keep expanding the wealth gap. And you're sitting around here voting for these clowns that keep wanting to give bailouts. You're sitting around here voting for people acting like, hey, you know what? It's all good if the stock market goes up. I got news for you. It's not all good if the stock market goes up. Everything has consequences.
consequences. And the bottom line to the story is, as long as you're not holding a company accountable for what their bottom line is, profits, loss, expenses, if you're not going to hold them accountable for that, then what do you have? You have the wealthiest getting free money on the backs of the middle class, which is us, because we're the ones that's going to be paying the taxes and we're the ones that's going to be paying the bailout money. Come on. You waking up yet? Or are you still sleeping at your nine to five job? You should be out here saying, you know what, let me join the one percenters. Let me get in on this stock market. Let me get in on uh, creating some other businesses or riding on the backs of businesses. Get me extra streams of income because sooner or later, this is all going to come tumbling down on the heads of the middle class. Meanwhile, the guys getting the bailout money, they got their jets. They have their planes. They have their boats. They have their yachts. They're going to be able to just float away, fly away, drive away to some other location in the world. What are you going to be able to do? All right, that's enough on my rant today. So that's all I wanted to say today. We have the IRS extending it. I'll have a link down below for everybody who may not have received a stimulus check earlier. Now you can get on the list to receive one, hopefully, the next time that there's going to be a stimulus check. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, there will be a stimulus check. What do we have to keep showing you here? What do I have to keep showing you here? This right here is the reason why the stock market is going up. Because of this signal openness to give bailouts to the U.S. airlines after they jack people all the time and try to tell you here, pay us $40 for a bag. Come on, man. Are you guys an Americans? Are you guys people of the world? Are you trying to sit here and tell me that you're busting your behind every day and you're content with sitting there saying, hey, you know what? We're going to give $25 billion bailout to the U.S. airlines. We're going to give $28 billion to the farmers because of some tariff war. Do you understand that's money coming out of your pocket? That's money coming out of your family's pocket, your grandkids' pocket, your great-great-grandkids' pocket, and your great-great-great-grandkids' pocket. And enough with all this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. And please, like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And you know it's hard out here. That's why I bring you the real. Forget about these stimulus packages. You need to get on your own stimulus program and figure out how you're going to say, you know what, I don't need these clowns. And in fact, I'm going to invest in myself. I'm going to invest in doing something that I know that I feel that can work. Because over the long run, what are you really scared of? You're going to be crushed if you don't join the party and try to be a top 10 percenter. I'm just saying, because that money in a 401k, that money in a mutual fund, that money in a bank, it could be stolen. And I mean literally, if things go bad, where there is no more bailout money, where do you think they're going to grab the money from? And that's why people invest in gold and silver, physical gold and silver, for instance. Because if somebody snatches money out of your investment accounts, what do you have after that? Do you have streams of income to keep bringing some more money in? Do you have some backups such as physical gold and silver, precious metals, where you can now go and exchange it for something? Keep thinking, ladies and gentlemen. Top 10 percenter. That's what you want to be. And that's what we're trying to do here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And with all that said, keep your head up. Keep moving. And I'm out.